Yo, what's going on guys? Impulse here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a kind of random video. I've decided to try to draw three starters of my own making. And obviously, the starters are fire, water, and grass. So, I am going to be starting out with the fire Pokemon. And I just want to put out a disclaimer, I am by no means good at drawing. In fact, I would go as far as to say I'm awful at drawing. So, these should be pretty, um, abysmal, if I'm honest, so... Oh, but hopefully it's entertaining at the same time. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more, which I am pretty sure you will not, then uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get into this. So I'm going to remove this. And uh, the first Pokemon I'm going to be doing, since I think all the starting Pokemon are based on like, animals and you know that kind of theme um, or like plants and stuff I'm going to be going with a fire bear for my star so obviously considering it's just a first stage like a baby of its line uh, it's going to be a small like cub so I honestly don't even know where I'm starting here uh, let me get should I go with the black outline on its fur I think I'm going to let me get a head. We need a head. Right, so I'm gonna just start start drawing and hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad. Right, that, that's a head. Now let's uh, continue. I have to zoom in a little bit to get the um, eyes in there. I, I don't... Oh no, it's already going bad. I don't know why um, I decided to do this. But I thought it'd be um, cool. That looks like an emerger. Let, let's not. We'll give him some, um, I don't know, Spider-Man-like eyes. That's what, like, bear's eyes are like, right? Oh, my goodness. Please, Arceus, come and save me. So, I'm going to, I don't know, guess I'll decide some personality traits and stuff depending on how they come out. This guy looks mean. I, I don't think I want him to be mean. I think I kind of want to change his personality a little bit. What is that? That looks like Concola's nose. That's no good. Let's give him like a little bear snouty thing. Um, there? Maybe? Oh my gosh. I can see the comments already. We'll give him a little, little bear thing up and uh, do I want him to be I want him to be happy how can I give him like a, a a happy appearance give him a small look at his tongue <laughs> no no it's not oh. oh why can't I draw a tongue oh no oh. that's not too bad and if I put him some like eh? No, what about if I give him... Oh, how can I make him look happy now? He just kind of looks mean like, Hey, dude, I'm not mean. Uh, if I give him high eyebrows... Ah, I, I just... I don't think he can have eyebrows. That eye just looks weird. I've got an idea. Got an idea. It's a battle plan. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. There. Look at that. Uh, his nose looks kind of um, off now. Can we um, do something about that? Can I like move it? Oh <gasps> no, he doesn't need two noses. Oh, we can just pick it up and move it. What a guy! Look at this. I'm already. Um... Oh no, that that's fine. I think that's fine. He's kind of got like um, an expression that I didn't really want to give him. Let's. Let's give him some thicker eye. Let's give him some major thick eyebrows. Let's give him eyebrows like my eyebrows. But like, yeah. All right. He kind of needs some ears, and I need to change that back to thin. We'll give him some nice round ears. Oh, that is a good ear. I feel like that's a good ear. Oh, that second ear though, not so much. All right. Not looking too bad. Let's color him in. Oh, wait a second. I, I kind of want to give him some fire on him in some way. I don't want to copy Charmander's tail. Do, do cubs even have a tail? 
Ha! How's that for hair? That's not too bad, right? He's got like um, a flaming Super Saiyan hairstyle going on. Alright. Huh. I guess I need a body now. I'm quite happy with that face. I'm quite impressed with that. Alright. Are we giving him a neck? Or is he being a no-neck warrior? Alright. I've made some adjustments. It still needs work. But he's kind of looking a little slimmer than he was. He kind of lost some weight on his chunky arm. Alright. He is not looking too bad. Hmm. Nah. Let's get some more detail on him. I kind of want to give him like a flame design on his body. Alright, I've given him some flame patches and now I'm going to try colour this guy in. Alright, I think that does it for our fire starter. Look at him, he's not too bad. I mean, it took some time, let me have a look. Including the intro to this video, it took me about 20-25 minutes to draw this one guy, which is pretty depressing. But that's one guy out of the way and now I am going to move on to my second guy which is gonna be the grass guy and after I've done all three I'll name him give him a little bit of a personality so let's move on to the next guy all right we've got a new sheet and our second animal is a rhino the grass rhino so uh, what am I how am I starting this guy out I suppose I should start out with the head again like last time I uh, kind of want it to be a little bit longer this time though, like a... Uh, do I? This might look weird. We'll put him on a side ang angle, I think. Alright, so that's going to be the side of his head. And of course, he needs a horn. Do I want this guy to be an angry guy? I'm going to draw a nice, big, open mouth. They look way too sharp teeth for a rhino. The rhinos are like... Not predators. But let's, let's dial that down a little bit. Why does it look like Pac-Man? It looks like Pac-Man's gone wrong. A nice round eye inside of it. To make him look very playful. That is not what I meant to do. Alright, this is what we've got so far for a body. I'm going to add him a little tail on. I think I'm going to make this a leaf. Nah, he looks a bit plain. What's his horn? Is it a leaf? No. I think that... I'm going to add him some uh, grass aspects now. Okay, so I've added some vines and leaves to him. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to about cover it. And I'm going to colour him in now. Alright, and that is our grass starter done. There we go. Now our grass starter is done. Deal. What do we think of this one? Any good? Let's move on to the next one. Okay, and the final one is obviously a water starter, and um, I've decided to go with a starfish. I know we've already, we've already got star you and star me, but this one's obviously going to be different and nowhere near as cool as those. So let me try getting on with this. This should be a lot simpler than the last two. So I'm going to start off with a basic star shape. We'll put something out here. I have to tidy this up after, obviously. Alright, so I've tidied up his basic shape, and now I'm going to add some details to him. Um, eyes. Eyes, eyes, eyes. How is that for an eye? Okay. We've got the basics for him. Now I'm going to start colouring him. Alright, and the colouring process is on. I'm making this blue colour, and I'm going to add some, um, uh, I guess, minor details to his tentacles, I guess they are. I don't know what they are. Um, yeah, that looks pretty decent. Do I want to add anything else to him, or is that it? I think that is good enough. So there we go, the starfish water Pokemon. Now let's get them all on screen and give them a little bit of detail, a bit of personality, and yeah. Let me do that now. Alright guys, after an hour of recording, here is what we've got. We've got the start of the fire, the grass, and the water. So, now it's time to give you a bit of information on these guys. 
Alright then, starting off with the fire starter, he is the fire bear Pokemon and his name is Flam Cub, which is obviously a mix of flame and cub, since he's only a baby bear. The Pokedex entry would read something along the lines of this. It's friendly and outgoing and it loves to cuddle people to keep them warm. When it gets excited, the heat from its body emits causing flames to erupt, often leaving it surprised. So tell me what you guys think of that. Next up is the Grass Starter. It's a Grass Rhino Pokemon and its name is Vinoceros, which is obviously a mix of vines and a rhinoceros. The Pokedex entry would read something along the lines of this. It's playful and clumsy and loves to play fight. Often during its games, it trips and stumbles, causing damage to anything in its way. So what do you guys think of that one? And last but not least is the Water Star. It's a Water Starfish Pokemon and its name is Starclops, which is a mix of Starfish and Cyclops. Again, the Pokedex entry would read something along the lines of this. Generally grumpy, it tries to seclude itself from people and Pokemon. If made to be around others, it focuses its attention on its target and tries to poison them with its barbs. So that's all three. Which one did you think was the best and which one was your favourite? Love to hear from you guys. Leave all the feedback down in the comments section as usual. I hope you enjoyed the little change to the channel. If you want to see more of this stuff, leave that down in the comments section as well. Anyway guys, I am going to get out of here. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to meet and mash that like, share and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Laters!